We're avoiding the lakes at all costs this time of year. Welcome back, YouTube fam, to another high adventure video heading down the trail to the river. We are on the Broad River here in South Carolina, giving the old SS High Adventure a rest and taking out the Hobie kayak where it all began for us, really, on our channel. That was the first boat I ever purchased. And I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of excited to get back in it. Hopefully hunting down some big river catfish today. Ah, here she is, looking good. Brought the sunscreen. Let me show you guys how I got this packed up. This is the Hobie Mirage Outback. Check it, we've got ice, cooler, drinks in the front. Gonna keep that strap down. It's gonna be a hot day today, so. Hopefully the ice will last at least half a day. Got our Hummingbird Helix 5 depth finder. Cords running to the hole. The actual battery for this actually sits under um, that little cooler we have in the front. Obviously you have the little pedal drive. Then right down here, below the seat, I've got all of my catfishing gear. Packing light today. Don't need the whole tackle box since we're just going after catfish exclusively. Got the seat, obviously. A couple fishing rods with us. And back here, got our gear tried to really trim it down as much as i could that way we're kind of packing as light as possible for the river of course we always have the pedal drive but i always bring a paddle just in case there are a lot of times when i have to pull the pedal drive up and actually just use the paddle so definitely have that with us what is that oh that's a feather i thought one of the strings was frayed that's good let's go ahead and drop our sunscreen right in here and i think it is time to go ahead and get launched. Nice and sandy, so we can just slide this into the water. Gotta be careful, it's kind of, kind of a drop off right here. There we go. Off we go. Drop a pedal drive. <laughs> We're off. This is awesome. Where's my bait? Somewhere back here. Here we go. Guys, I have kind of a special bait today. We have some freshwater American eels that are dead, obviously. Quite frozen. Ugh. Ugh. Look at that. Dude, these things are slimy. This should be excellent catfish bait, I would think. Do a big chunk like that. Ugh. Dude, that's slimy McGee. Good grief. I did not catch these myself, but we do have freshwater eels here in South Carolina. Something that you can go catch. I think they're mostly like in the low country, if I'm not mistaken. But I could go learn how to catch these. I've heard that they're kind of difficult to catch as far as like, you can actually hook them and you could feel that you hook into them. But they'll like wrap around wood and stuff like that and get you all snagged up. Keep that on ice. I've got my striper fishing rod but I've got my, uh, what is this, a Quantum Optima reel. This is my tried and true trusty catfish reel. <sighs> we'll be fighting some current today, good grief. I think we're just gonna do something like that right there. All right, let's get up to all this fallen timber up here. And we're just gonna be kind of pitching and flipping. See if there's some big catfish in these laydowns. Totally unlike any catfishing that I do. There we go. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our anchor out. We're gonna toss this guy out so we can sit in one spot. And I'm gonna position myself right above these laydowns. There we go. So that we can kind of toss back into it. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna do, because we're in a Hobie and we can stand up, which is lovely. Move that over there. And we're gonna toss this right down here right by these laydowns. And we're just gonna let that drift around down there. We've got blue catfish, we got channel catfish, we got flatheads all in this river. So you just don't ever know what you could catch. That's a bite right there. Got something, but he's wrapped around something too. First fish. Oh Lordy. There's a fish. Oh, shnikes. Yeah. Oh, I see a catfish. I see a catfish coming our way. 
Gotta get him over that wood. Ha! Cool! First catfish on that eel. Five minutes in. That's a nice blue. It's a nice blue. That's a stringered up worthy blue. Dudes, yes! Let's go. First river catfish of the year. Come here. Yeah, uh, got no net. You couldn't figure that out. There she is. There it is. Yeah. Get in this boat, girly. All right. Dude, ate up that eel. Let's go. All right, in the bottom. Yes. Well, that eel works. That eel definitely works. That's a pretty fish right there. You know what? I think for good karma, we're going to let that one go. I mean, that's that's a great eating size. That's a great eating size. But, I mean, we're five minutes into the trip, yo. We're five minutes in, and we've already boated like five, six-pound blue catfish. We're going to put that back. There she goes. Oh, man, that was so cool. Let's do it again. All right, y'all. We in another spot. This is actually our third spot. We've had a couple other bites, but uh, have not had any fish after that first fish, which worries me some. Do we have the curse of the early fish going on? You know, it's never great to catch a fish, like, right off the bat. So, hopefully we'll break the curse. I know the catfish are in here. We just gotta, I don't know, get them to bite, which seems like that wouldn't be so hard, but... Alas and alad, here we are. There's a bite. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Right on the other side of those two pieces of wood just absolutely hammered it like I didn't even feel the thump all of a sudden she just started to go just started to go there we go <sighs> kind of hard to tell the size of the fish in this current but it's another nice cat looks like a blue awesome <laughs> I think I'm using 20 pound test, so we're good. Oh, that's a bigger one than the first for sure. For sure. Wanted a little eel. Oh, that's an ugly cuss right there. Good grief, that's an ugly cuss. Come here. Oh, that's a nice one. I'll bet that's eight, nine pounds right there. There we go. Good grief, that is an ugly girl. <laughs> that was a good fight in the current though. There we go. We put a fresh bit of eel head on, actually. And he tore it up. Absolutely tore it up. That's a nice fish. That's an ugly cuss, though. I just feel bad for him because he's so ugly. We're going to let him go just because of that. There you go. Oh, there you. <laughs> Oh, man. That was good. Right on the other side of that wood. Get situated, Micah. I think like right here. Deeper right here. All right, guys, we're gonna try a little something different. Getting hot. I need a break from the sun. A nice little shady patch right behind us, actually. It's like 10 feet right there and right out there. So we are gonna anchor up. We're gonna throw some lines out here and see if we can't catch anything in this deeper pool. All right. I'll just sit, watch, and wait. Enjoy the shade. Hang out here for maybe 20 minutes, and then we'll probably just keep on moving up river. Any snacks? Ah, got some Bubba Mo Show's beef jerky. There's a local guy, actually, that makes this. He's right in Charleston. I met him on a family vacation down there. And, uh, mm, got a hold of some of his beef jerky. Bubba Mo shows. Mm, that's really good. They just came out with a bunch of new flavors, like Low Country. This is barbecue. That's good. I should probably check the snake for trees. 
check this tree for snakes. I've been out in the heat too much. Gotta check this snake for trees. Don't want any trees in your snake. Looks pretty clean. No imminent threat. There's a bite right there. Right there, fish. Got him. Got him anchored up. Here we go. Fish on deep pool. Nice. That was out in the middle. It's kind of an interesting topography right here. It's like 10 feet right behind us. It's also 10 feet out there, but then it comes up to like seven or eight feet in the middle, like a ridge. I'm trying to fish kind of those little channels. What do we got? A little spunky little fish, that's for sure. I think that's a channel. Hey, that is a channel. Look at that. Hey, our first channel, so we've caught a blue. If I can land this guy, we caught a channel. Dude, look how dark this fish is. What? This looks like a blue channel hybrid. Look at this fish. Look at this fish right here. Hold up. If I can get him in. Oh yeah, she's hooked good in the corner of the mouth. Come here, you. Dude, this is a beautiful bronze chain. Look at that. Yes. Catch a fish in the cool shade on a hot southern day. Love that. I think he ate all my bait or took the bait off. That's actually kind of surprising. Like a super bronze color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like a really dark bronze. There's almost like some blue on the underneath. Like, it's like, like a blue, blue and a channel hybrid almost. That's crazy, I mean, look at that face. That face definitely has like some blue around the lips and stuff. Huh, I think we're gonna put that on a stringer though. Circle hook did its job, that's awesome. What would you call that if you catch all the how about threw him over the side? <laughs> what do you call that though? You know, they call it a grand slam down at the coast when you catch um, flounder, redfish, and speckled trout. What is it if you catch all three catfish? We gotta come up with that. What do you call that? Uh, I don't know. What would be better than a grand slam in sports terms? I don't know. Here we go. First catfish on the stringer. Drop her down right there. Y'all have to help me out with this one. Drop a comment below, what do you call it if you catch all three catfish species in one sitting? I don't know, we'll think of something. I don't know, a hat trick? Oh, we could call it a hat trick. I don't even watch hockey, but I know enough to know that that would be cool. The catfish hat trick. Actually, I really like that. That'd be awesome. I feel like that's, we're just gonna make that our own now. Get a catfish hat trick. Take a look at this. It's not a snake, but where'd you go? Look at that thing. What a big old black ant, dude. Holy jeepers. That looks like that bite would hurt. Well, stay away from my kayak. Stay away from my fish, too. No, no, no. Give it. Yeah. Oh, I have riled him. Yeah. Wait, where'd he go? You know, I hope I flicked him into the... Oh, we're gonna bite here. Is that a bite? Oh yeah, that's a bite. Why isn't the line taking out any line? Oh, there, there she goes. Fish on, hold up. Second fish in that deep channel. I'm starting to lose my shade though. That sun's coming around the corner. Nice fish. I think that's... Well, I can't tell quite yet. I think it's a blue. That might be a stringer worthy blue. Uh, is it? Yeah, that's a blue. Wow! Come back here. Mm. Well, now hold on just a second. Golly, that oh, looks like a channel. There she is. Got her. Ha! Ah. Okay. Dudes, like that's like another, I think that's a channel. Like a hybrid catfish. Dude, that face almost has like characteristics of a flathead. It's like freckled almost. That's crazy. I think that's a channel though. You start, you can see some of the glisten in there. 
yeah i'm gonna say channel but i wouldn't be surprised if there's like some cross pollination going on in this river there she goes cool oh yeah got a fresh piece of bait on got a few other folks out here looks like floating down we're gonna go right out here in the middle right out here in this channel it's about eight nine feet deep looks like we're gonna just bump this fresh piece of eel along the bottom i'm trying to add a blue cat to our stringer i'm thinking these catfish are gonna find the deepest points they can get to there he is right there got him ha i figured there ought to be one in this channel hopefully it's not a channel it's a nice blue uh, that's like the biggest blue of the day right there good grief Holy cow. Who gets the stakes off that one? It's almost like she didn't figure out she was hooked. <laughs> Hang on there, lady -o. That's a nice blue. That's eight or nine pounds right there. That's a good keeper size. Bring her to this side of the boat. Let's bring her over here. Ooh, that shade feels nice. That's a solid fish. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest blue of the day. Yes, right there. Whew. All right, make sure we don't go flying down the river now. Oh man, now there's a fish right there. That's a solid, solid blue catfish. That circle hook, perfect. That was crazy. Like she didn't even start thrashing until like got to the surface. She's like, wait a second, what's going on? I am confused. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Got her on there. There we go. That's a nice fish. Two nice fish, man. Woo! Check that out right there. Look at that. Nice channel. Really nice blue. They're beautiful, good eating size right there. You know what I think we're gonna do, guys? I think we're gonna head on back. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, and I am just hot, man. And I've been drinking water and stuff, but. There's only so much of that you could do before it's just like, it, you just almost, you almost can't keep up with it. I want to see if there's a taste difference between channel catfish and blue catfish. I've actually never done that before. I'll catch you guys back at the house. All right, y'all. So I just got everything loaded up in the truck and I got back. There was a guy here, Brandon, was fishing. And so we got to chat a little bit, of course. And then I said, I got an extra eel. Would you like one? He's like, sure. So I gave him some eel and he just came back and literally just put the kayak in the truck. It wasn't out there five minutes. He said he caught a nice catfish. So we're going to go take a look at what he got here. Oh, dude, you did, did get a nice one. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. That's a nice blue cat. There you go. A nice chunk of that eel. He's a nice middle piece. Yeah. You guys are gonna keep it right yeah, yeah nice nice dude hopefully that's a sign of things to come you guys gonna be out here for a little bit yeah about yeah. an hour cool long cool as long as your little uh your eel lasts we're gonna be yeah. here yeah. <laughs> dude this stuff doesn't come off the hook very easily so yeah. you could be out here all day with that with just one eel but is that a blue or is that a flat like, i don't know man like a bull here. yeah i can't tell is that a channel channel yep that's a channel. Oh yeah, dude, that's a nice channel. I've caught several channels today. In fact, I've caught more channels today in this stretch than I have, yeah. you know, in is in, in the last times I've been here. Yeah, channel cat. That's that yellow. Yep. Now, so I'm gonna be eating some channel and some blue. Mm -hmm. What is you guys is what, what what do you prefer to eat? Blue catfish. Yeah. Blue catfish. All right. It's like a uh, general consensus. Yeah. Okay. Once you cut it up, you know, cut it up in nice little chunks. Okay. It tastes uh, a little bit like. Um, Crappy like a really? white fish. It's yeah. a real flaky white meat. No kidding. Blue now, catfish. Now, are you are you frying it like a typical catfish? Frying it. Like deep frying it? Frying it, deep frying it as well. Okay. And usually the, for the flatheads and the uh, channel cats, those are the ones I usually stew. But I usually fry the blues. What, you make a stew out of them? Yeah. Catfish stew. Catfish what? stew is very good, very good. Yeah, catfish stew. <laughs> I've never heard of catfish stew before. I kid you not. Is that, a, is that a big thing in the yeah, South? definitely. Catfish stew. No way. See, I'm from Idaho. I wouldn't know anything yeah, I was, about I, this. I went to... Uh, School in Prosperity in Carolina High School. My whole life, I track team every year used to have catfish stew sales. So every year the really? community get together and you know hundreds of people come and buy catfish stew. So that's how big it is. Oh man. For I, years. 
<laughs> now I've got to Google like catfish, catfish stew, stew recipes. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, that's a new video. It's yeah. coming to the channel, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. I guarantee it. Catfish that's awesome. Stew. I'm gonna. Yeah. Do you guys now? Do you guys have a preference now? Last year I tried a flathead. Yeah. Is the blue still beat the flathead? Oh yeah, blue. Really? Well, I don't know, man. I think that, yeah, blue. blue I don't know. I'm just the blue man. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Just, maybe I'm more yeah. uh, particularly the blues. The partial the blues. Yeah. But uh. Cool. Blues is what I like. Cool. Yeah. Well, this. Ladies and gentlemen, might end up turning into some stew then, it sounds like. That's cool. That's cool. That's a nice, yeah. what, about three pounds or so? Yeah. Minus, three, four pounds? Nice size. Yeah. That's awesome. That's what we call good eating size. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So it's Brandon. Yep. And what was your name again, Leon. sir? Leon. Leon. Yeah, Leon. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Good Definitely. luck for the rest of the day. All right, We're going to try to make something happen. Heck yeah. All right, back at my house. Finally got myself some new fish cleaning gloves. Had my last one for like three years. It was ridiculous. Here we go. Let's start with this boy right here. Woo. Big mama. I never weighed that up, but I'll bet that's probably about eight pounds would be my guess. Eight to nine. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look what was coming out of his nether regions. A shell. Ugh. Dude, that's, that's a hard pass. No pun intended. Good grief. Dude was about to find sweet relief until he ate my bait. You know that was uncomfortable. Come on, there we go. Female as I suspected. Oh my gosh, look at the guts. Oh my heavens. Dudes, we gotta look. Oh my lordy. Oh my what oh my gosh i can't even like i can't even squeeze it through oh there we go there's some oh good heavens i've never seen anything quite like this ladies and gentlemen good night i mean dozens and dozens like she was just down there just horking it down dude she was gonna need a colon cleanse after this in a major way <laughs> How'd that not just tear you up? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? That's ridiculous. What's ridiculous though, is this big old chunk of filet right here. Look at that steak. Mm. All right, now time for our channel. Curious to see if this channel has been eating the same thing as the blue. I mean, I would assume so, but I don't know so. Don't see anything in those guts right off the bat. Doesn't mean there's nothing in there. Nope, wait, where'd you go? Get back here. Cut those ribs out right there. Let's see, you got anything in your guts? No, you were just a hungry girl. I don't see anything in there really. Interesting, huh? I'm not, yeah, nothing hard in the intestines. That is kind of odd. You got one catfish full of those freshwater clams. This one's got nothing. Huh. Interesting diet selection. All right, so we got both catfish cleaned. Now, the first thing I notice is, look at how like white or how clean the blue catfish looks compared to the channel cat. I mean, there's a definite color difference in the meat. And both came out of the same body of water. I mean, that's crazy to me. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a nice little strip from our channel, take a nice chunk from our blue cat. We're gonna cook these off, just regular. And for the rest of this, we'll cut it up into chunks, fry it up. And I've got some kids that are excited to eat some catfish. My wife actually likes eating catfish as well. Nobody eats quite as much as I do, but hey, little, hey, get out. Okay, I tell you what, you can have a little piece. There you go, cut yourself off a piece. Just don't tell anybody else, all right? Got this little yellow jacket here, or cutter bee. Here, here, do you need it? No, no, don't get from me. Shoot, get out of here. Here, let me cut you off a slice. Can I interest you in a fresh piece here, brother? Here, 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 here you go. Where'd you go? Now there you are. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Ready. Where, where you go? Here, there you go. Take that piece. Take that piece. I'm literally trying to give you some. You ding dong. There you go. Look, I got a nice piece right here. 
You're gonna sting me before all this is said and done, aren't you? All right, fine, I give up. Just take what you want. There we go. Two nice piles of meat right there. Let's start off with these guys, though. Try it out just regular before we deep fry it up. I think that'd be the best way to do a taste test. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and crack a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on each strip. There we go. We've got a pan heating. Oh, pan's plenty warm. This is gonna cook fast. We'll probably have blackened catfish is what's gonna end up happening. Oh, geez, stand back. Yes. Ah. That's not gonna take long to cook. Here we go. Stand back. About time to flip our, what the? Oh gosh, that's a piece of firework from the other night. <laughs> we got a little too excited at our house. Can you get too excited on the 4th of July? I don't think you can. We got the big fireworks. Oh man, that's looking good. That is still our channel. That's our blue. The blue's fatter. I remembered it by that. So that's just about done, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. We have some fresh catfish cook up. We're going all natural, baby. Let's say a quick prayer first. Thank the Lord for keeping us in safety out in that heat. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Lord, thank you for your creation that you give us to enjoy. I pray you bless this food to our bodies now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. Now, Brandon and Leon claim that the blue catfish is the best. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with the channel. And then we're going to move to the blue. So, here we go. Salt and pepper, channel catfish, that's it. You know, that was a, a younger channel cat, so not a lot of fat. Fairly fishy. Not bad, not bad. Let's go ahead and move to the blue catfish now. Same thing, just salt and pepper. Y'all saw it. Oh, wow. Now, hold on. I got to take a second bite of that because that was super tender. No. I thought maybe when I took my first bite, like... It's just almost, almost flaky um, when I took the first bite. Now, with the channel catfish, that right there, there's like some body to it. Like you almost, not quite chewy, but it's not like this, this channel cat, or this blue catfish right here, that's straight up flaky meat. Wow. And I thought maybe it was just the section where I took the, the, the piece from. But no, I grabbed a, a thicker section of that blue cat. You know, I can't remember. It was either Brandon or Leon. Somebody said it's almost like crappy. The meat texture. I can see that actually. Like, it, that that's, I, I can't believe I'm saying catfish is flaky, but that blue catfish is flaky. Now the flavor, I, I don't know if I can honestly say that I can taste a difference it's more the texture, in my opinion. The texture of that blue catfish is just, makes the blue catfish, in my opinion, like more edible to me. All right, we're gonna go ahead and fry the rest of this up. I am joined by Mr. Crockett. Mr. Crockett, how are you doing? Yeah, good. You doing good? Yeah. Oh, you know what? I see a kitty right back there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had yet another stray cat show up at our house. This is sparkles, apparently according to my little girl, Arabella. If anybody is in need of a cat, I'm not gonna keep Sparkles. Sparkles came to us, obviously, looking very skinny, frail. It's a younger cat. I believe it's a girl. And um, we are already full at the inn. There is no room at the inn here at my house. However, if one of y'all want to adopt a little kitty, um, just hit me up in the comments below. Uh, we've given her food, obviously, because I felt bad. Like, she was super thin. Still kind of is. So, I wasn't just going to leave her like that. But, uh, of course, since I put food out, now she's like, who? Oh, the family that's adopted me. <laughs> but, if there's anybody out there that wants a cute little calico, hey, Sparkles, sell yourself here a little bit. Get your, get your face out of the food bowl. Come on. All right. Back on the catfish. We're gonna put the lid on this. Mr. C, would you help me with this? Uh, Here we go. I want you to shake that. Shake it. Shake it like your life depended on it, son. 
Go! Get, get, gotta get all that mustard on there good. Give me my tongs. That is some seasoning that we're gonna throw on there. We got a little slap you mamas and a little cage of two step. We're gonna put on some of these fillets, or I should say these nuggets, when we're done. We're gonna can drop I do these in that? here. You wanna do it? I tell you what. Yeah, you can do that. Go for it, man. Okay. Just fish them out. Nice and easy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, oh, oh gosh. You were so close. That's okay, buddy. Here, what? let's do this. How about you have Papa drop this in and then you shake it off? How does that sound good? Uh huh. Make sure the lid is secure. That's oh, a mustard on yourself. Yeah, I, you know what I did. Thank you. Oh, you, oh, you got it? There we go. All right. Shake it. Shake it, boy. Vigorously, Mr. Crockett. Vigorously. Oh, it's all good. It's all good? All right. I'm going to take your word for it. Let's see. If it's not all good, I'm throwing you in the pool over there. <laughs> I'm teasing. I don't know. Let's see. Eh, well, that needs to be shook. Shook it a little bit here. A little bit more. Here, let Papa. Papa's kind of an old hand at this. There you go. Oh, no, that mustard. Yeah, keep your fingers out of that, you noodle. Let's see how that looks. Eh, hey, that's looking better. That's ready for the frying pan. All right, let's come over to the oil. Crockett, do you know how we tell if the oil is ready to uh, put stuff in it? Yeah. You do? How do we do that? We use it with this. That's right. Man, you've been paying attention. Let's take a little bit of this. Go dump it in here. Oh, see how that's all bubbling up right there? I think that's ready. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, you know, would you grab that for me? Yeah. There you go. Two hands. All right. Let's just set them. Just set them right there. Perfect. Now stand back a little bit. I don't want some of this. Sometimes this oil jumps out a little bit. Oh, look at that. Actually, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. There we go. And then as always, you just eyeball this. They gotta be golden brown. Mm. First batch is that channel. We're gonna do a second batch of the blue catfish next. You wanna help me prep that? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. All right, Mr. C, look at this. We got a full plate, don't we? Uh-huh. And more cooking. We've got, let's see, the blue catfish right here. And we have the channel catfish. Oh, hey guys, joined by my wife, and Mr. Braxton. <laughs> He's not amused right now. I, did he just wake up from a nap? He did a little bit. Oh, okay, that would probably be it. Yeah, should we taste some blues? Here, that, how about you take, the, uh, take that one? I'll take this one. Oh, but we gotta cheers them. Cheers. Ting. Here we go. A little blue catfish. Mm. Man, adding that mustard crust, holy jeepers. What do you think? Mmm. Mmm? I'll take that as that tastes delicious. All right, so we tried the blue. Blue is still fairly flaky. Let's try. Here, I'll break bread with you here. With that piece right there. Channel. Ugh. Cheers. Mmm. It barely hits his lips. Mmm. Now, that is interesting. I could taste a more catfishy flavor with at least in that bite of the channel catfish. I didn't taste that with the blue, but I'm definitely getting a little more fishy flavor with that channel. You know what? The two gentlemen I met at the river said they liked the blue catfish better. I tend to agree with them. Mm. <laughs> you know more words than that, don't you? You stinker. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you want a piece of catfish? Sure, I'll take one. Let me try a bite. There you go. That's a nice one right there. Thanks, baby. That's good. That's that blue catfish. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's up, Bella and neighbor friends? Hey, you. Hey, yeah. hey, oh. hey, what? Yum. Yum, indeed. Well, YouTube fam, I will say that I think the blue catfish is definitely better than the channel catfish. Definitely the texture is much more enjoyable, in my opinion. Crockett agrees, right? A man of many words today. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Hi! There you go. Say bye! Bye! There we go.